Yeah. Hey, this is the plan I've come up with. Uh, we this is the shelf, and then we've dropped it down for the nightstand. Uh, included a space for that water jug that we got the other day. Uh, propane tank would fit here. Fridge sets in here, so this is just open to the front and, and to the back, so the fridge just sets in there. Well, now we've got a top open fridge. Are you accounting for that? Yeah, it's, I don't know, you can't see it here, but uh, this is the top view down here, so. Oh, so the fridge top the, is the exposed? Fridge, the fridge top is exposed. You got any, uh, well, we could go get some, maybe some uh, wallpaper and slick it out like you did yours? Yep, exactly. Okay. And then, uh, on this, I'm thinking just maybe put a coat ha or a hanger in there, and maybe she can use this to hang some some of her blouses and stuff with. Love it. And then all these are drawers. The sink. Uh, we've got to look a little. We haven't got the sink yet, so you know it's open as to what space we're going to need here. Okay. But it can be adjusted. Okay. Um, batteries. Maybe we'll take the shelf out and put a. Uh, door in here and and put the batteries here. I need to check the wish list and see if anybody picked those up too. Um, otherwise, we can pick them up. Just need to look and see how our uh, cash reserves are looking. Okay. And also, we're gonna want to uh, now. I'd like to have some kind of a a workstation for the batteries where we've got the fuse block in there and you know stuff kind of looks organized and routed nicely yeah well if we put the batteries in here there's there's uh it, it is low but it's a 24 it's a two foot by two foot space and the batteries are only what 14 inches wide i don't even think they're that yeah. but 14 inches wide and maybe uh well, 18 are, inches long or we're something we're gonna go the two golf cart batteries I, I've got two uh, of the 12 volt VMAXs uh, uh, wired in parallel. Okay. AGM. Okay. Yeah, they'll fit in there and then we can set up a little, you know, set up a little panel recessed in there. Uh, put in the controller and the fuse box and maybe that can be the the little electrical center down there and then can we stub out right here for a inverter mounted horizontally plugs out facing that's what I've got here okay cool this this actually the shelves will be facing this way instead of all the shelves you know are facing this way in this plan but this will be the nightstand and then that'll the the inverter will hang out about three inches with the plugs and everything right there and okay. this will be a little knickknack shelf you know that she can see from her nightstand okay looks good if her nightstand is going to be integrated that close to where the main inverter is then we can maybe get creative on how we want to lay all this out because i had envisioned that two inverters would be apart from each other and that would be a smaller inverter for handheld electronics but we'll just have to figure it out once we get the layout as to what seems like the most practical way to do this if we don't get the other inverter she could just go with the one that we have if she does get it we can lay them both out i mean a 400 watt inverter will take care of almost anything but a vitamix yeah it'll do your computer your laptops and anything like that so yeah looks good okay we don't okay so here's the the line where we have to cut in order to set it up inside here okay uh, on the other side there you'll look there's uh, I've also marked the, the line where it's gonna be cut there's gonna be some uh, oh this white mark yeah so it has to be cut right along how did you determine that by going down to the corner there with this measurement to the roof which is actually this is the same. This is going to come right to the top of the roof. The, the corner. Well, it's too bad we can't lift the roof off, put it in place, and set it back down. Well, you're still going to have to cut, you know, this much off just to make the corner of the the radius of the right. top corner. Um, I'm thinking once this is cut, we'll glue on some boards, smooth it off, maybe 
put a, a plastic top on it before we set it in. I mean, I don't have a vision in my mind of what that's going to look like, but it sounds like you do. Well, basically we've got 65 inches on the back from the bottom of the shower to the top. That's five feet, five inches clearance. But by the time you get halfway in here, I'm not doing a little bit of war, a project here, you got about five feet, uh, nine, five feet, ten hole. clearance. And then up here you've yeah. got. Uh, yeah. Six feet one and a half. We should probably lift it out to cut it too. Oh, absolutely. So we don't put a bunch of dust out in the air. <laughs> it's, Do you have a mask? It's gonna be miserable. I might have a mask. I'll, I'll pick up some masks at my shop. All right, cool. Oh, okay. But no. Let's we, try to use it, man. I, I think we try to use it. Okay. I still think the like one piece. Like. I mean, it's gonna be less hassle. Okay, bye bye. Than trying to get a two piece in here and glue and mask and screw and hope it holds up through bumps and yeah, it's they're just if you if you can do it and get away with it, it's it's the way to go. I'm wedging this board in here. All right, hang on. Let me turn the radio off. The thing stops. I need to have the radio off. Okay, I've got a deflated basketball back here, and there's nothing to push up against, so I, I jacked up this board against the bottom of the vehicle to try to give the basketball something to push up against. And this fitting's not going to work because this adapter doesn't have a thing in it. I need something that'll adapt to this. sure I don't go too deep put a hole in the basketball right okay take 15 oh where's your hose His. Mine's over there in the thing. I, I got one in the car and played the thing. Why are you getting so far away, man? That thing pops. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You got that rubber mallet? Is it? It's you in know where that rubber mallet it's inside. is? Inside. Hot butt? Yeah, it should be visible as you walk in on the left, kind of. Now what I want to do that there's some pressure on here. I want to hit the high spots with the rubber mallet. So that it won't have a tendency to, to pop back in. Whoop.
case some air, more air please. That. 150 is what it shows. Enough to bust that to basketball. You're about 20, 25 pounds maybe. Basketball's not there. blowing up anymore. Same when I bought that school bus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Air, please. Maybe there. Yeah, I can get that. Here's this, and I'll turn it on.
also the enough there's no moisture that gets back behind there. Uh, all right, I guess I'm gonna make a decision and then we'll go with it. Just let me know where I can make a mark to cut that well, hole in the floor. Board you a little bit if you're gonna put that stuff in there on the other side, ain't you? Don't you have to have enough room for it at least go in there? Well, it's only that thick. Let's uh. Why don't we grab that and cut it? That might be uh, the next step to get that all cut and, and stored in there. Do you need to take a measurement or did, how did you want to cut it? Well, We're going to cut it outside, yeah? Yeah, we'll cut it outside, but at the bottom of this stack. Is this the stuff that's sitting in the trailer? Yeah. All right, I'll start unpacking it. Well, kids are watching. What have I told you about that camera?
should have switched hands and held it with my other hand. But we can make that the bottom. Just cut the line anyway. So 73 and a half and then 22 inches.